velocity filter like a radioactive source and they have got different velocities. But for our calculation we need to take certain charged particles which have got a fixed value of velocity say that value is V0. What we want that all the charges which have velocity V1, V2, V3, V4 we do not want. We want to filter them out and we want only V0 velocity. So how can we make a filter for this? Okay, see the principle. We take a space and in that space we have both type of fields electric field as well as magnetic field. First, there is an electric field. Let us say electric field has got direction upward. Electric field upward. So these charges which are coming here experience an upward force which is equal to QE QE and because of this force they have a velocity in this direction they have a force in upward direction which will give them acceleration perpendicular to it this is a case of projectile in projectile we throw a ball it has a velocity straight horizontal but force is perpendicular to it towards ground so it makes a parabola in this way also this is velocity horizontal there is a electrical force upward so it will make a parabola and go like this it will strike so up to this how will be the path this will be a parabolic path parabolic path and when it reaches here after that electric field is over and from here it will go straight this is how an electrical particle will behave sorry a charged particle will behave because of electric field this path will be a parabolic path and at the end of it it will go straight okay but if we have a window here if we have a window here then it is striking so much above the window whatever it is we are not going to calculate we can calculate with help of projectile formulas whatever we have okay but here we know that it will go up and strike somewhere here because of this force how much force QE which is upward now suppose here we uh, have a magnetic field and that magnetic field we take it uh, in a direction uh, let us say this is velocity and we want a direction of magnetic field coming out this is the direction of magnetic field B this B is outward now the charge which is moving in this direction get uh, this magnetic field what will happen according to this left hand formula it will experience a force B is outward this is B I take it outward velocity is in this direction so I will make it in this direction this is B outward this is velocity so the force is downward so it experience a force downward and we know how much is this force this force is Q into V into B where V is velocity of the charge B is magnetic field and Q is the electric charge on that particle this force is downward now suppose there is no electric field what will happen to this charge answer is this charge because of this it will make a circle and come here this is circle this is due to magnetic field and you have seen because of magnetic field a charge will make a circle this makes a circle now 
we have both the fields together. If there is only electric field, charge will go like this. If there is only magnetic field, charge will go like this. And now if we have both the fields, then what will happen? Answer, it will go towards the resultant. Suppose we find a charged particle which comes straight with a particular velocity. Then what is the net force on it? Upward or downward? Your answer will be no net force. That means upward force is equal to downward force. That means for this particular charge which is passing through this opening, the electrical force QE is equal to magnetic force QVB. So this velocity is equal to E divided by B for this particular charge which is going here. If velocity become less, velocity become less, this force magnetic will become less and the particle will go up. If velocity is higher than this, then this force will be Fb will be higher and it will go down because of Fb. This is Fe. So for a particular velocity, both the forces are equal and how much is that velocity? E divided by B. So if we keep E divided by B, give it a particular value, let us say if this is equal to 15,000, then what will be the velocity of all these charges? Answer 15,000. More than that will go, more than that will go down, strike this wall. Less than that will go up, strike this wall. So the one which is passing through, this has got a particular velocity which is equal to E upon B. And setting of E and B are controlled by us. So we can always control the type of charged particle which we will get from here. And from here we are getting million of charged particles. Out of that they have got all type of velocities. So this we will be able to filter out from here. This is the principle of velocity filter and this is how we can get all the charges of a particular velocity.